Hello, uh, my name is Peter Dickin. I'm the marketing manager at Delcam and here today in Wokingham at the European headquarters of SGS Solid Carbide Tools. Today we're running a seminar showing how Delcam's Vortex high efficiency area clearance strategy together with SGS tooling can reduce machining times dramatically by up to 75% in some cases. The seminar today has been brought together to highlight all aspects of machining together with programming, tooling and machine tool choice to get the most modern manufacturing techniques and producing components more effectively and reducing costs. SGS's uh, expertise in the background of high speed machining uh, comes across more apparently with the high performance cutting tool range that we've developed over the years uh, in conjunction with strategies and materials used in the aerospace, medical and auto sport industries. And what we do is we maximise the performance of the tool and tool life longevity and cut data um, based on the principle of the geometries that we've now put into our new range of tooling. High performance machining or high efficiency machining is important in McLaren in several ways. One, the speed of the parts that need to be produced from the design through to the manufacturer and then onwards to evaluation and also the fact that most of our parts are have a very high percentage of waste to them and to make the best ideal of everything is to remove the waste as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Well hopefully customers today will get a flavour of the ability of all those aspects put together and reflect that back into their current machining practices and hopefully they'll highlight some of the areas where they can improve on. We've been working with SGS for several years. Uh, we use them as primarily as a, a tool supplier. With Delcam we've now been using them for a couple of years. We've found them to be fairly well and together we're finding quite good solutions to various problems that we're having. From today's presentation I'd say the most advantageous thing that I'll be taking away with the slides and the presentation would be ultimately the depth of cuts and how much metal removal you can take using the strategies that are available and the tool technology available to us now with the variable pitch technology etc. The first demonstration part that we're going to run today is uh, in stainless steel 316 part. It consists of uh, two different pockets. Uh, the first pocket uses the painted uh, Z-carb four flute tool. So it's using the vortex for a heavier engagement. Uh, so on this part it's a two and a half mil step over, but it's actually running at two times depth um, on the AP, which is more than you would typically do with that type of cutting. Um, the, the, the middle cut that we run uses a uh, a different strategy and it just steps up the, the tapered walls in the middle. Uh, this is really just to promote the, the edge to show there's a taper wall on it. Uh, the final stage, it's a much deeper pocket. Um, the corner radius is a very tight. They're four mil mil millimeter radius in the corner. So we use an eight millimeter tool on this, but the tool itself is actually sticking out uh, over 40 millimeter because this depth here is is 40 millimeter. Um, so where the vortex really comes in is controlling the engagement right in the corner. If you run a typical tool path, um, you'd have a lot of wrap around in the corner, cause a lot of vibration, and you'd really have to compensate it with your speed and feed. Um, since I've been at SGS, um, I've been working with, with Delcam all, all, all that period for a period of two years. Um, before that, I was at uh, Perco um, as an application engineer, so I was working with Delcam there for seven years as well. Uh, the advantage of the Vortex strategy is mainly that I think it's kinder to the tool. Uh, you don't get any excessively excessive build-ups in the corner, uh, which will give you more tool life and the risk of chipping on the tool. The second demonstration uh, we ran today is on a titanium part, so it's, it's, um, it's a lot harder on the tool itself. Um, the strategy we use here, typically you would end up having to do this in a series of um, Z-level steps. Using the uh, Delcam Vortex, we are taking the, this first 24mm cup in, in, one, in one hit, so it's again it's two times the depth of the tool. Uh, again, it's using a very large um, engagement on, on the wall, uh, two, mil two and a half millimetre step over. Um, after it's finished the, this first level, it will then just step out 
and remove these two tiered levels. And, and as you're coming up in depth, we are um, increasing the step over in size because it's uh, less contact on the tool. This is sort of a bit in reverse of how most strategies would run because you would probably work down one level, do a complete area, and then work down to the next level. And, and obviously at the end, you would only have to be doing a very small cut. So it, it's actually a lot more effective using the Vortex strategy. The final uh, toolpath uses the SGS T-Carb, which is a six flute tool for aggressive um, trochoidal milling type of strategies. So it's, it's perfect for the Delcan Vortex. Um, but this tool actually ramps all the way in at full feed to the depth, and then it will progressively work out again with tight corners. Um, this time it will use a 10% step, step over. Uh, so it's a 1.2 millimetre cut on a 12 millimetre tool.